to uh, Toolbox Talk. Um, those of you that watched a previous uh, Toolbox Talk, which was about um, installing a hardwire kit uh, jump start pack. Now while I was doing that, I noticed that the battery um, actually wasn't very secure. Um, it's held down with uh, a bit of strap, a bit of rope, that's all, and it's uh, able to move around. Uh, which really isn't very good, especially on a rib. A rib does a lot of bouncing around, jumping the waves, um, and having a fuel tank as well, an inbuilt fuel tank, only just under the seat there at, at, at the front, uh, and a battery bouncing around doesn't make uh, a great recipe uh, for success. So what we want to do is make some kind of uh, bracket uh, that we can bolt down uh, to keep the battery secure. So now we've taken both the battery terminals off and we've taken the yellow strap off we can take the battery out. While it's out I think we'll give it a good charge on the mains charger. On closer inspection of these uh, these are battery clamps. Obviously, the red one is positive and the black one is negative or neutral. Um, they're not a matching pair, they're different. Um, they don't actually clamp very tightly either. Um, so, I think we should invest in a, a decent, good quality pair of clamps. Well, we've got some kind of bracket here some kind of bracket there and a matching one there and also this plastic type thing Right now we, we can see what we've got to play with here uh, or we can see what we've got to work with even. I think these can stay. These are nice pads, anti-slip pads. You can see that over the years this has had various different sorts of brackets. There's another, there's another one there, this black one. And then you've got these two that obviously held Oh, that's loose anyway. This is loose now anyway, so... 
I think we'll yeah we'll take these out take these out see if we can drill a hole in them so that we can put clamps on these brackets may not really be suitable I'll probably make some new ones they're completely different <laughs> Yeah, probably make some new ones. So here we've got some nice stainless steel screws we can utilise. So I've um, bent up some brackets here, just had a bit of flat bar, um, marked them and drilled them, and they are going to go either side of the battery I bought these as well which are just uh, rods Okay, so uh, I've painted these uh, just with whatever I had lying around, so I primed them and then um, painted them with a top coat. Uh, so we've got the crossbar and we've got two brackets, one each side. Stainless steel screws and the U-bolts to go in there. They fit like that. Now, while we've got the battery out, what I've done is I've uh, refitted this uh, hardwire kit, hardwired a watertight cable for the SL65S, which is our jump starter. It's a little jump start pack, which is here. So, this is what we take out with us. So, we get a flat battery. If for some reason we've, uh, we've, we've worn the battery down, um, we put this jump starter on, just fits in there. Right. So anyway, I've put it on, I've hardwired it onto there. Um, when we put the battery back in to the boat, then we just put the main terminals onto there. Nice and simple. Now this here gets a bit flappy. Um, I need it though, because it gives you instructions on how to do the jump start. So I'm just gonna tidy this up a bit with some cable ties. So here we go, I've just put a couple of, wrapped it up around the cables um, and I've just put a couple of cable ties on. So we'll tidy it up. If I need to read it, if I need to read this, we'll just slide it off, slide the cable ties off and uh, open it up and you can read the instructions again. But in the meantime, it's nice and tidy. And I'll just sit there when it's in the boat. Incidentally, while I'm on the subject, this um, jump start pack, which we've got, which is the which is the Sealy uh, SL65S uh, lithium battery jump start pack, uh, which here it is, tiny little thing, fantastic. Um, one of the great features of this, especially for uh, boating, is this um, torch here. Now this torch is very powerful, but not only is it a torch, it's also uh, a beacon, so a distress beacon. So if I get this right, uh, switch it on, hold that on. So there we go, so there we've got a torch battery permanently on, which is great. And then if you press it again, it flashes the SOS, so distress signal, dot dot dot, dash dash dash, that's the SOS. So if you hold that up on your boat at night, that will probably be recognised uh, by somebody on shore, or if there's somebody trying to get it out to you, 
Um, there you go. Distress signal. How cool is that? Also, it's got just a strobe. Press it again, and it just strobes. Awesome. Press it and hold it down. Turn it off. There you go. That's the Sealy SL65S. And this is the hardwire kit, the SL66S. So here we've done, I've done a mock-up. I've just put it all together to show you what it will look like. And there we go. That's a nice little battery clamp. Here we go. We've put these in. Now we've put them on we've put them side on as opposed to the other way that I demonstrated. Uh only due to lack of space really, but there's uh, there's no difference. You can put them side on like that or or the other way like I showed before. Okay, all done. So uh clamps on, nice and snug, and all the wiring's back on. Utilising those nice uh, wing nuts there. This toolbox talk was brought to you by Dave from Treasure Divers. You can follow our exploits on the search for the lost wreck of the Albemarle at YouTube slash Treasure Divers. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.